Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The Arma Armored Personnel Carrier originated from Otokar's independent initiative to fulfill the Turkish Army's need for a wheeled armored vehicle capable of operating in amphibious conditions. Development commenced in 2007, and by 2010, initial prototypes with a 6x6 configuration were unveiled. The Turkish Army sought 336 units of such armored vehicles, prompting Otokar to enter the Arma into competition with other contenders like the FNSS PARS and Patria AMV. Besides domestic demand, Otokar targeted potential export markets, successfully selling units to Bahrain and Azerbaijan, with deliveries commencing in 2012. Interest from other nations further underscored the vehicle's appeal. Prior to the Arma, Otokar had developed the 8x8 Yavuz APC, a modified version of the Singaporean Terex, though it did not secure production orders. However, the Arma hinted at a potential evolution from the Yavuz platform. Constructed with a welded steel hull, the specifics of the Arma's armor remain undisclosed, but it appears capable of withstanding 7.62mm rounds and artillery shell fragments, possibly offering protection against 8kg anti-tank mines. Additionally, it features an NBC protection system and boasts a payload capacity of 4,500 kilograms. The versatility of the Arma is evident in its adaptability to various configurations, including the option for mounting a heavy machine gun or remotely controlled weapon station on its roof, or even a turret-mounted 20mm cannon. Internally, it accommodates a crew of two and eight fully equipped troops, with access facilitated through doors, roof hatches, and a single side door. Firing ports are also provided for the troops' use. Powered by an undisclosed diesel engine generating 450 horsepower, likely a Caterpillar C9 turbocharged unit akin to the Yavuz, the Arma employs an automatic gearbox for propulsion. Its drivetrain supports both 6x4 and 6x6 modes for different terrains, with steerable front axles enhancing maneuverability. Equipped with hydropneumatic suspension, a central tire inflation system, and run-flat tires, the Arma excels in off-road mobility. Furthermore, it boasts amphibious capabilities, utilizing water jets for propulsion and can be airlifted by the C-130 Hercules in its standard configuration. Beyond its base model, the Arma can be customized for various roles, including reconnaissance, ordnance disposal, command, sensor deployment, and fire support. Additionally, an 8x8 variant, introduced in 2011, offers increased internal volume to accommodate more troops or heavier armaments, with options including a 30mm turret. That's all for now, see you later.